Thanks for checking out my micro drawings channel. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to draw Kelvin from Kelvin and Hobbes. And I'll start off by showing you the colors I'm using and the paper and pen. So paper, uh, I use a Canson XL Smooth. I've got the four colors there, the Copic sketch markers. I'll show them as I get to them. And then a micro or a multi-liner, it's a 0 0.1. So a little bigger than normal. So to get started here, I always like to start with a facial feature and build the drawing from that uh, because if you goof that up, it will goof up everything. If you draw the outside of the face first and then the nose and the nose is too small, then you just got to start it over because it's going to be off, off, off wonky. <laughs> so in this case, I'm starting with the little uh, reverse C and you'll see the eyes here. Uh, the right eye is in the middle of the C. And the other one is to the left a little bit. The one to the left is a little bit larger because it's a little closer to us uh, because of how Calvin is standing. And then what I showed is the top of the forehead. It's twice the length of the top of the eye to the bottom of the nose. That's what I was lining up a little bit. And then it's rounding a little bit at the top, coming right past his nose and then rounding back to where his ear will be. And then his mouth is just a little line in there and it's below slightly to the left of the left eye as left eye as you look at him and the c of his ear is pretty much um directly across from the top of his eye and the top of his nose so again i i like to use a lot of points of reference and in this case um you know there i was drawing uh, his little hairline uh, just to the right of the c of his ear and then on his forehead there, now I'm kind of drawn across there, uh, just straight across from where his forehead was, additional lines. And then the spiky hair of Calvin, his trademark look, um, there's gonna be three big spikes, I guess you could say. And I like to think of the head as being rounded around. And so I'm gonna keep those spiking up but they're moving a little bit with the roundness of his head. And I hope that makes sense to you. Um, so they're not just a straight line across, but they're curving with his head. And then there's one off here. And it, got, it did get a little tall on me. Calvin's head should be a little bit more round. So if your spikes are a little lower uh, relative to his forehead, you're probably gonna be right on track. So, uh, here I'm lining up his body and his body is basically the same height as his head. Um, you know, Kelvin's body is always this little body, bigger head. He's a comic, so that's the way it goes. And so I drew that down the front of him and, and you'll notice um, the width of his body is probably not even half of his, of his head. So, um, you know, if you look at that on both sides of it, it's, his head are overhanging his body. And then his um, sleeve there is about halfway down his body. And his hand, just a skinny little wrist. Uh, and then I think of the, the palm of his hand is almost like a ball. And if you look at Kelvin's uh, mom and dad's hands, they're always bigger than what you'd normally expect. And in this case, that one shoe, if you look at it, it's wider than his whole body a little bit. Uh, to the left, a little bit to the right, and it rounds in the front. And there's the back shoe. And then I'll color in his little shorts. And we're almost done here. Um, I'll add a little grass here for the background. And later on, I'll come back with the Copic sketch markers to give some color to that. So I, I hope that was helpful. Um, please comment or um, yeah, comment below. That'd be great if there's uh, things that I could have explained a little bit better. I'd appreciate it. So onto the Copic sketch markers. There's the cotton pearl. That is what I use for his skin tone. I would imagine in other brand markers, there's something similar. And again, with this, I if you've watched my other videos, you know sometimes I'll rotate the paper to get close to that black line without going over it. But if you're taking your time and just touching up to that line, you'll be okay. These markers 
especially with a good quality paper, don't really bleed. So they're not gonna soak through the paper and travel across that line. So you can work right up to that line. And you can see those uh, lines between his hair and his face, those black lines that I drew earlier, those provide that boundary. There's a cadmium yellow. That's what I use for Kelvin's hair. And again, I'm just going to touch in there lightly and just getting to the right of that line and then filling up those triangles or the spikes at the top. And then giving a little bit of color and working up to the forehead. It's a little color below that black line there. And a little bit more. I always like to be a little uh, hesitant with the colors. I can always add a little bit more if you add too much right away. Tough to take that back. And I use a vermilion red for his t-shirt and his socks. And again, just lightly touching in there. You'll notice I didn't put the stripes on quite yet. I do that um, so the black is going over the red. So that just in case, if I put all those black lines down first, if I would happen to leave a, a small little puddle of ink, it would, would spread, you know, with the red being added. So I just play it safe and add it later. And then here's a the yellow green that I'm going to be adding. And that's for the grass. And just touching, not a lot of detail there, of course, but it just kind of grounds him in a, a little scene here. And next up, then I'll grab that Copic Multi-Liner. With this, I'm using a 0.1. With my tiny, tiny micro drawings, I use a 0.03. And in this case, I'm just drawing those horizontal lines on his shirt. And then I'll be putting today's date, 621 of 2021. Again, I hope this helped you. Um, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thanks for visiting the channel. If you haven't, please subscribe and share and check out the other playlists. Uh, there is one for Kelvin and Hobbs. Got quite a few drawings in there. Have a great day.